The next logical thing to discuss would be the headers, right? So we've got content. We want some headers to go with it, right? So we can start out with maybe just a header for the top, right? Um, so to do that, that's really easy. We just put a hashtag or a pound sign, a space, and then whatever we want to write. Now notice without the space, it didn't work, right? That's kind of just like when we did the line breaks down here, right? So that space is important. Now there are six different types of headers, and this is uh, the main one. It's really easy to do them, right? You're not having to remember like six different types of code for this. It's really just however many pound signs uh, you need for that header. So this is an H1 tag, a header one. This is a header two, three, four, five, six, right? There are six types of headers in HTML. And so in Markdown, we've matched that with six different types of headers. And it's just however many of those you want to use. Now, this also allows some hierarchy, right? So you might be thinking, well, why would I want that many? Well, you might want some hierarchy. So maybe this is a big one here, and then down here, maybe this is a small one. So instead of just this regular text, we could do something like that, or maybe that's still too big, maybe, maybe like that, right? So you can decide uh, kind of how you want it to, to look. Now, there is another way to do headers sort of, I mean, there is. So instead of these hashtags, these pound signs, um, I accidentally did it in the previous video, right? So I did, I did this, right? That's the same thing as this, right? Uh, now, instead of these hyphens, if instead I do equal signs, that's the same thing as an H1 tag. Now in here, they are identical. And on GitHub, they're also identical, but they didn't always be that way. And depending on what system you're using, or if you're using a different editor, or you're not going to be using GitHub, they might not display the same. They didn't used to display the same on GitHub either, but now they do. So if I open GitHub, and I Command-A or Control-A to select everything, and Command-C or Control-C to copy everything, I can go in here, and I can just paste it paste it in, and I can commit the changes, and here we can see they're identical, right? So they're the same. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you want to do them, they're the same. This is in GitHub itself, right? This is not the pretty like GitHub pages that we're going to be using later. If I go to that, and I refresh this, there we go, they're also the same here. Now notice there's no underline here, right? So Different pages will style the different elements that you're defining with Markdown different ways. Some of them may have underlines, some of them may not. Now one other thing to note, there's only two different ways you can do this. I can't do like underscores to create another type of, of uh, header, right? Now you see it did do something, but that's not a header actually. Notice the text didn't change, it just added a horizontal rule there, and we'll talk about those later. Right, there's only this one or this one. There's no other one, right? So there's only H1 and H2 using that method, or, you know, a whole bunch of them using this method, six different ones, right? And so that's headers, that's it. Headers are easy.